I was examining the collection of decorative arts and furniture at the Hunter Museum of American Art in Chattanooga, Tennessee, when I noticed a small, spiral-bound notebook set up on a pedestal. It explained to children that these were the most prized possessions of early Americans and asked them to draw a picture indicating what their most prized possessions were. I expected to see a lot of drawings like this, the skateboard, and of course the iPod. And even this drawing of a Jeep didn't really surprise me. But as I flipped further through the notebook, I was intrigued. Very few of the other drawings had anything to do with commercial items. One read, My great-grandfather's watch chain. He fought in World War II, and he was in the D-Day 101st jump. The chain was with him, so it is history. It is priceless. Another said, My Malachite meditation stone, because it reminds me of lessons I've learned when I've forgotten them. Another youngster said, My favorite object I own is my piano. One child drew a picture of a cat with the words, I love you, next to it, and titled it simply, My Cat Smokey. Two children said that the camera was their favorite possession. One said, My camera freezes time. It preserves moments of humanity. The other said, My camera, to remember and express, and then added a picture of a diary with an ink quill and the words, Writing. But perhaps my favorite was the young man who drew a picture of what he thought he might look like as an adult, adding the words, One day, I will be in this exhibit. The interactive exercise was, for me, intriguing, and it restored my faith in a younger generation, which I sometimes think is much too materialistic.